Hello viewers, Mezcal here. Today I'd like to talk about one of the unsung heroes. This guy, Victor Schuberger, standing next to a home power generator he made, which runs on water. So there's the impeller. And you can see it's constructed out of spiral pipes. The scope of this man's work was amazing. Everything from river regulation to suction turbines, free energy principles applied through rising gases in cold water and densification, and it, it, completely out of this world. Um, another turbine, yet another. Here we look at the um, dynamics of centripetal motion as opposed to uh, centrifugal. One, I'll touch on that a bit longer, uh, one on the inward moving side, this side is uh, Got here keywords consolidating, accelerating, integrating, constructing, convergent, formative, friction reducing, and on the other side we have disintegrating, decelerating, dissipating, destructive, divergent, loosening, friction inducing. It was his description of our modern devices that were too far on this side of the equation and we're not using this stuff. What else have we got? Flow pipe experiments. This extends to river regulation. Implosion machines. Enablement of water. He, he actually seeked to uh, synthesize water in the same quality as natural spring water. Here's the device that did it. Here's a um, replication by the Swedish Biotechnical Research Institute. <coughs> this thing here, called a climator, designed to cool or heat a house. And last but not least, we come to this device. The repulse line, apparently based on the principle of a trout moving upstream. I'm sure you can all work out what it looks like. I'll leave you guys to do your homework on that one. Right on, so let's have a bit of a play. So here we have a magnetic stirrer and hot plate combination. Every good lab should have one. I picked this up for $6 at a recycling co-op. We have a stirrer bar in the vessel. We turn the thing on and see that we can stir it. I'm using quite a long tube here filled with water. I've cooled the water down a bit so I've got some condensation. I'll just have to wipe that off so you can see what's going on. We'll let it speed up and start to create the vortex and then I'll show you what's going on. You can see we're starting to form a dimple on the surface of the water. I can now turn the speed up. Okay, the dimple is starting to form into a cone shape or a uh, 
cycloid spiral space curve as described by Schuberger. There's two wave motions to it. You'll see when it gets going it starts to look like an intertwining rope. making a bit of noise down there. I'll put a toothpick in there to show you the flow dynamics. Have a look at the subject of rising temperature gradients and falling temperature gradients. Here we have a piece of ice. As you know, ice floats. Let's do that again, shall we? 